Blender has fantastic curve modeling tools that I want to share with you today. I will demonstrate six must know techniques in this video. If you are just now joining us, I'd love to welcome you to the channel. Check out part one in the description box below. And while you're there, go ahead and check out our Patreon. It helps support this channel and series just like this. First up is sweeps. I'm going to give you the keys to the Lamborghini. <laughs> now that kind of sweeps, but a common technique used for wires, pipes, and all sorts of stuff. It's super easy to do in Blender. Just head over to the curve properties panel and look for the bevel section. We can do a simple circle, object shape, or profile, which we will get to later because it's pretty amazing. Next technique is extruding. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's located in the same object properties panel and we'll create an extrusion along the shape. It will be a good idea to enable the extras option and the add-on menu so we can have more shapes to play with. Lays are very handy for things like cups, bottles, pots, uh, any shape that needs to be revolved. Let's draw a simple shape in the front view in Blender by pressing 1 on the number pad. Make sure to have a point at the origin since this is the location we are going to revolve around. Then we add a modifier in the modifier panel called screw. This will allow us to spin our object. A quick tip is to also convert the shape to a mesh and use the spin tool in the toolbar. I always forget that this one is there. Hold control to snap to increments. Creating lofts is super handy and something I used to do a ton of when I worked at engineering firms and using applications like Rhino, which are parametric modeling applications. The key thing to remember here is using the surface object. This will allow us to link many different shapes together, or conversely, we could just use a path, but we need to convert it to a mesh and use the loft option in the loop tools add-on. Also enable this tool because it's incredibly useful. Creating profile shapes are very powerful. We can draw a path and then use the profile tab in the bevel rollout and the object properties to create a custom shape. We can select each point and use Alt S on the keyboard to scale the effect or hit N on the keyboard to bring up the tool panel to change the radius. Also try using the tilt and spin. You can select multiple points and then hold Alt to drag the numbers and affect everything that is selected. Last but not least is the curve modifier. This modifier can be used in conjunction with polygonal modeling techniques to bend shapes easily. If your object doesn't fit the curve, add an array modifier set to fit curve, then select that curve. Then choose which vector makes sense for your purpose. I hope this video has been extremely useful to you and your workflow. Please consider sharing this with a friend who's box modeling all these things by hand. I'm sure they'll thank you. Also, leave a like to help this video and boost its visibility. And don't forget to comment if you have any questions. I would love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, take care.